Okay. What is up, I'm Annette. It's me, I'm a Jane, I'm a Jane TV, and we are here. Finally, we're gonna do Huasa, Maria. So, Maria is a common name. It's such a, it's, it's so overused. Everyone's, nearly half the world is called Maria. They always have a woman called Maria. So, yes. Um, before, disclaimer, I know I heard news about this music video. Some people have issues with this music video. And they, oh, of course, they have issue with Hwasa. They have an issue with Mamamoo. I'm not surprised anymore. So apparently, this there was a lot of um, cultural appropriation because apparently she was using some African headpiece. But some people said, no, it's not. It's actually this Malaysian or that other country, Asian countries that also use similar headpiece to Africans but they're not the same. So I, I don't know, I don't know what you guys think. If you want to leave them down below in the comments, please do. I honestly, at this point, I don't know what's going on because people always find justification to make an argument about Hwasa half of the time. So we're going to do Hwasa Maria in three, two, one. Go, go. I know which Maria she was referring to, by the way. <gasps> oh. Wow, she looks so beautiful with a black dress. And there's black and white. She's, wow, interesting. And she's going to sm smoke? Look at her! Yes! This melanin queen. She's so natural. Is she? Okay. Is that a brain? That looks like a brain to me. Or is it the heart? Oh my god, it looks like a heart or a brain. I mean, so far, I haven't seen anything problematic. She looks so pretty, though. Her melanin, her, her, her tan skin is, is... I think the only Maria I can think of is... Is the Virgin Mary. Which, if you don't know in Spanish, when you read the Bible, it's, it's actually... Maria instead of Mary. But in English it's Mary, but in Spanish it's Maria. So in Spanish it would be if you say Virgin Mary in, in Spanish we would call it in Spanish La Virgen Maria. So it's <laughs> So it's the only person I can think of right now. But there's a heart there. Oh okay. She's in the hospital getting tested. These these backup dancers are actually I'm living for these these backup dancers right there. Are they trainees? Are they going to be? Oh, well, there's a lot of pencils there. Is she in? I don't know. Is she in a, in a in a asylum or is she in a hospital? Because the 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 outfit. Oh. Yes. Is she cutting her hand? Yes. Oh. Oh my god. Yes. I'm living for this queen. Oh, she's giving us her Latin vibes. I think she is having some. And listen, ever since Mama Moo are uh, in channeling the, the Latin American I'm actually living for this. Also, Maria is also a very common name in the Latin American community and Span in Spain as well. But this is giving me more Latino vibe. I like um, I'm living for it actually. Unless she, she's dedicating to Thalia, if you don't know who Thalia is, girl, if you're Latin American, you know who I'm talking about. But 
I live in for this whole atmosphere. Ah! Oh, the rest of Mama Moo members. Oh, they look so cute. I love it. Can I just say, I haven't seen any anything problematic, let's be honest. And someone was making waffles and problems with it. Okay. Okay, so this, okay, so this this is a good comment. So there's a comment here that says, Hwasa should be every little girl's role model. Talent, beauty, confidence, attitude, daring, intelligence. She has it all. I agree, she has it all. She is an intelligent woman, she's beautiful, she she's daring, she's confident, she has an attitude, she's talented, and she's also a groundbreaker because she is breaking the stereotype in the world of K-pop of how they should look and depict it as skinny girls, like they never ate food in their life. Whereas Hwasa, you know Hwasa has got those fights. Hwasa has Fundifies. She has them fundifies. They're thick as hell. That women, well, I, 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 some, I know some, some people will say, oh no, that's too much. No, no, no. They always complain about it. But really, and truly, all these Korean girls that are talking so much. They're the ones that are. They would die to have the legs just like Hwasa. They die. They would die to kill themselves. Not kill themselves, but like to suicide. But they would die and kill to get those legs because that is the act of God <laughs> so yeah so this is gave me I wasn't really sure but it, I thought it was going to be like more like religious like more like Virgin Mary but it's not I think it's more like dedicated to Thalia if you don't know who Thalia is I will just give you a little summary who she is Thalia is a singer and actress uh, she's actually a very beautiful woman she <laughs> She's she's known for her telenovelas. If you don't know what the telenovela is, it's it's like K dramas, but Latin American. But she's from Mexico. She's actually Mexican, so she's she's like one of the most known telenovela actresses from back in the nineties. So if you're a nineties kid, you have seen a bunch of Talia. She has Maria something. There's always there's always a telenovela starring her as Maria. Uh, there's a lot of Marias in this in the in a in her career as a, as an actress, except for one. But the rest of the other two that I know, I uh, forgot the name of the other two. Maria del Barrio. Yeah, there's one called Maria del Barrio, and I forgot the name of the other one. Let me just check the other one because it's been so long. So let me just find the grease ball, ball, ball. No, 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 it's not her. Yeah, there she is, Thalia. There we go. So Thalia is also known for her. Let me just find the other one because there's another Maria. I just don't remember the name. It's the name I don't remember. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, my God, there's three of them. So you got Maria Mercedes and then you have Marimar, but it's still Maria because so the her lead roles is Maria Mercedes Muñoz del Olmo or Meche and then Marimar is Maria del Mar Aldama Perez Mari, also known as Marimar and then Maria del Maria la del Barrio which is I think they actually is that was the most successful this one I think Maria la del Barrio is the most successful telenovela that she has done because Apparently this, this one, this particular telenovela is actually being remade in different countries. Even Asian countries have remade this, this particular one. <laughs> this particular one. So it's really, it's one of the most successful um, series that she did. So this one's called Maria Hernandez de la, de, de, de la Vega. So yeah, there's a lot of Marias. Yeah, there's a lot of Marias that she has done. So... I think that they're referring to her because she has done, she has done four roles, actually no, three roles for, with the same name, Maria. It's always about something called Maria, there's always a woman called Maria, and it's always starring her at back in, in the day, if you're Latin American. So, 
I'd give this a 10 out of 10. That's, that's what the vibe I got. It did, and I, I really, I, I didn't expect to see the girls from Mama Mood to pop out in the MV at the end. I, I felt that was really nice and they look so adorable. I love them so much. So we, but with that being said, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. That was auto gold, man. That was gold. And if you're hating on her for no reason, guys, <laughs> because apparently she was racist, but they were racist once. Well, I wouldn't say they're racist. I think they just ignorant. That's all. Ignorance. They they did things that the producers asked them to do. You have to remember the K-pop idols. Ninety percent K-pop idols don't have a say uh, of the the decisions of most of the producers that they give them. So just remember that, guys. Even the labels. So even they they can't say. I can't, I don't want to wear this, or I don't want to wear that, to a label, because obviously, <laughs> that's how they are in Korea. They have no say. So with that being said, I love you all, and you everyone, and Sarang Heo.